Here we are at the setup of the Martin Goodman publication exhibit. At uh, this table over here, we have a good selection history of all his pulp magazines, uh, starting with the most popular ones, the science fiction, the Marvel themed pulps, the detective pulps, some of the shutter pulps, some of the science fiction pulps, um, and even character pulps like Kazar over here and the angel detective over here. As we come along this way, we have the sports pulps, which were very popular in the 1930s, and of course, a selection of Western pulps, which were the most popular pulps in the 1930s. War pulps from the World War II era, and then we get into the Detective Flat magazines right over here. We have a couple of large size bed sheet examples. You can see right here that Martin Goodman made no qualms about using the same cover twice, even within a few issues of each other. We have sterling black and white photos here and then at one point over a approximately year period he started to commission painted covers on these detective magazines by artists like Norman Saunders, uh, Peter Dribben, uh, Cardwell Higgins. Uh, as we come over here we have a selection of some of his film and movie magazines, uh, prominent stars of, of stage and television. We have Marilyn Monroe over here. We have, of course, Elvis Presley, very popular in the 1950s. Sophia Loren, and I think a personal favorite of Martin Goodman, Jackie Gleason, over here. As we get over here, we get one of my favorite types of publications, the large size pre-war bedsheet pinup magazines. Started with Snap in 1940, and we get Jest, and we get Zest, and we got Gaiety over here, and Goodman used Alex Schoenberg to do two very nice covers over here. One of the pulp editors, uh, uh, Joe Simon did a cover here for Zippy. We have Stag, we have Mail, and we have Joker. Uh, Joker later turned into a comic book, and later this is a uh, prototype for the Humorama uh, digests. And as we come over here, we have a nice selection of miscellaneous. We have strange magazines from the 1930s like Sex Health. We have a Reader's Digest ripoff called Popular Digest. We have men's magazines. We have picture magazines. We have car magazines, sports magazines. We have uh, magazines which were attempted to compete with Playboy but really did not. Swank and Bachelor. We have, here's Goodman reusing the same cover twice once again. Uh, TV magazines, once again, prominently featuring Jackie Gleason over here. And we have an issue of Writer's Digest where Stanley himself wrote a seven-page article on how to break into the comic book business.